What's up everyone, this is Frank from Marsman Gaming, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Super Mario RPG remake on the Nintendo Switch. Super Mario RPG was originally released back in 1996 for the Super NES, and was a collaboration effort between Nintendo and Square Enix, where they took elements of Mario platformers and mixed it in with RPG and turn-based mechanics of Final Fantasy. This was very unique for Nintendo at the time, and what they cooked up was a success. Super Mario RPG was not only beloved by many, but also in inspired future creation of other beloved installments with similar mechanics like Paper Mario and Mario & Luigi Superstar Sega. Now when this game came out I was 2 years old, and although Nintendo games originally got me into gaming at an early age, I had other important skills to master at the time of this release, like putting together sentences, or properly figuring out how to use a toilet. Thus I could not enjoy the game until later on. Now the remake has been made 27 years later, I am a full grown gamer and I just received my next mission from Mars at HQ to investigate and report on the Super Mario RPG remake. In this review, I go over the good, the bad, and answer some important questions with my galactic grade. Does this remake capture the charm and soul of the original? Does this game enhance components of the old game to satisfy new players and old fans? Let's dive into it. But before we continue with the review, if you like variety gaming content, which includes reviews, previews, opinion pieces, and streams, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. And now back to the review. First, let's talk about the good. When evaluating if a remake or a remaster is good or great, I think it needs to hit on two big aspects. Number one, does it capture the soul or core of its original that made it special and loved in the first place? And number two, does it enhance aspects of the original that may have been lacking at the time that will satisfy new players and returning fans in the modern age? For this remake, I think it addresses both of these aspects for the most part. This remake holds the core of its original very very well. The dialogue is still goofy, funny, charming, the characters are memorable, and I appreciate the remake keeping the easter eggs, mini games like Yoshi writing, which I am painfully bad at, yeah! and the side content kept in this game from its original. It's a nice nostalgia blast for returning fans, and I believe it'll be an enjoyable and enticing experience for new players picking up the game for the first time. Next, let's talk about the upgrade to the turn-based combat. The battle UI is improved, with your character health and FP are now at the bottom of the screen compared to the original. This game also puts an emphasis on timed hits, known as action commands, similar to the original game. But now, perfectly timed hits also can do damage to an entire enemy team and not just a targeted enemy. You also have a variation of moves between the characters and the remake does a good job with assisting with these timed hits by showing an exclamation point if you tend to struggle to get the hang of it. This improves the accessibility for newer players. Well timed hits and guards also boost action gauge, which when it's full, allows you to do a triple move with your party members for a massive attack. These triple moves also change based on who you have in your party, and I think that's pretty cool. Next, I want to talk about the music. The original Super Mario RPG had a strong soundtrack. The different tracks were memorable, had variety on the different levels you travel to, and when the remake was announced, they talked about modernizing the soundtrack, which left quite a few people a bit nervous. But after playing the game, I have to say they did a pretty damn good job with the changes and this may sound crazy But I may like the modern tracks more than the original I would love to show you some examples of these tracks But with the chance of Nintendo watching and ready to push the button to nuke this video because of potential copyright claims I won't risk it, but I recommend you check out the soundtracks and let me know which one you like better I also like how they give you the option to filter through the new and original soundtrack in the set This is a nice feature and kudos to the developers finally the last aspect I want to address is boss rematches. When you beat the game, you get the opportunity to rematch the bosses you face throughout your playthrough, as well as a secret boss as part of the new game plus. These bosses have more life and can deal out some serious damage. I was curious to see what new game plus content would be added for this remake, and I believe this was a real nice added feature. The bosses in this game are fun, distinct, and with the added difficulty makes it an enjoyable challenge. With the good, we also have to talk about the bad. Unfortunately, one of the biggest issues I have with the remake is its difficulty, or should I say, lack of difficulty. This game has two modes of difficulty in its main game, which is normal and breeze mode. I played on normal, which is the hardest difficulty, and I think 
I died a total of two times in my playthrough, and both deaths to that fat sewer dweller, Bloom. For further context, both times I died, I was just too lazy to heal my characters or get items before the fight. Now I'm not saying I need to be sweating like I am playing a From Software game or Call of Duty, but this just feels too damn easy for veteran gamers. The boss rematches definitely provide some difficult moments, but I wish we had an option to make the main story more difficult. The next bad aspect I want to address is the cutscenes in the game. The original game being almost 30 years old obviously needed a graphics update. The developers did a good job making the world vibrant and colorful, and even though the characters look like plushy dolls, the art style worked. What unfortunately didn't work is the added film-like cutscene. No question they looked fantastic, but zero voice acting made them land with a thud. When these cutscenes first hit, I thought I had an audio glitch, but no, it is supposed to be this awkward silent scenes with just background music. I'm not asking for Chris Pratt to voice Mario throughout the entire game and each character to have meaningful speeches, but can't even give the character some sounds or screeches. Only Bowser makes his normal grunts and that's pretty much it. It's very unfortunate. This feels like a half effort and I wish we got a little bit more. The last bad aspect I want to address is some of the shallow RPG additions, or once again, the lack thereof. I want to make clear that I don't think the content is poor at all in this game, but my issue is with the addition of new elements. In this game, you can add weapons, armors, accessories to Mario and his party members that change attributes and attacks that you have. The original content is good, but the the game only added three new weapons, zero new armors, and a couple accessories. I definitely appreciate the Echo Ring, which helps you find hidden treasure, which was very difficult in the original. But man, once again, I wanted more. I want more. What makes it worse is the items you get is very linear, so the farther you go into the game, the next item you pick up will undoubtedly be stronger than the one you have. I wish for a little more variety to increase the strategy and planning throughout my playthrough. Overall, I thought there was positives and negatives with Super Mario RPG. This game does a good job of capturing the soul and charm of the original and enhancing components that would satisfy both old fans and new players. The addition of boss rematches are a nice touch for New Game Plus, but the difficulty of the main game may get boring for those looking for a challenge. My galactic grade for Super Mario RPG Remake on the Nintendo Switch is an 8.5 out of 10 and a Marsman Gaming stamp of approval. This game was a fun and enjoyable experience on a classic reborn in the modern age. Now it's time for Nintendo to make a sequel. Thank you everyone again for watching. If you like this kind of content, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. This is Frank from Marsman Gaming checking out. See ya.